On the outside of your Chromebook bag, please remove your student ID if you keep it there. Keep your student ID with you. We don't want to collect that. Keep the laminated bag tag in your bag face up with your name. We'll talk about what to do with that at collection. For your storage pouch on your bag, we're going to ask that you remove all items for summer storage. So anything that's in there, please take out. The only thing we would like in there is the charger. So remove any pens, pencils, anything else that you might have used for your classes, and make sure it's completely empty. You may also need to wipe down within the pouch as well. For your charger, please wrap it up. You can wrap it around your fingers, not pulling too tight. You don't ever want to pull a cord too tight. Then use a little Velcro strap to kind of seal up the cord, and then you can put it back into your pouch when finished. If you have the longer Chromebook charger cord, just kind of put this together so that it fits nicely into your case. There is no Velcro strap with this charger. Next, we're going to open up the Chromebook case. The device might turn on, that's all right. You don't have to worry about that. Remove the base straps. Please also discard any papers. You shouldn't be keeping papers in your case. You can take your Chromebook out, close it up, set it to the side. Next, we're going to clean the inside of the case. Using a dry rag, you can wipe down the inside of the case, getting rid of all crumbs or anything that's gathered, any dust. Uh, you may want to also dump your case over a garbage can just to kind of clean it out. When cleaning the device, one thing to never do is to never spray cleaning solution directly onto the Chromebook or any electronic device. Instead, it is always best to spray cleaning solution onto a rag and then use that rag to wipe down the Chromebook. Starting first with the base. You can wipe over the keys. Be careful not to press or damage the keys or the trackpad too hard. You can wipe away all smudges and all fingerprints on the device. Next, you can spray some more solution onto the rag if needed and then wipe down the monitor. Again, getting rid of all fingerprints or any smudges. And last, you can close the Chromebook up and wipe down the outside. Again, getting rid of any smudges or any fingerprints. And the final step in this process is to put the Chromebook back into the bag, slide the monitor in first, place the base down, and then you can slide the base straps over. And then you can power off your device, close it, zip it up, and you will be ready to turn your device in. Thanks for watching.